What's up guys, it's Ion here. Long time no see everybody. Since the last time we spoke, we switched from the Unity engine over to the Unreal engine, Unreal 5 specifically, for my game The Sock Archive, which is a first person horror game taking place in Reedsburg, Wisconsin. One thing I've been experiencing with the Unreal Engine is how fucking terrible it is to export from Blender into Unreal. Specifically scenes, like something with a lot of objects, it's kind of a headache. I've seen a few tutorials talking about it, they're really long winded, and usually even the easiest option that most people know of is not the most efficient. And I'm not saying that this method is the most efficient, but like... When you see it, you are going to understand why I'm making this video. Biggest issue with exporting from Blender to Unreal is origin points. 3D origin points are usually extremely off when exporting from Blender into Unreal, usually only going with the world origin point but I found a workaround. This method doesn't use any other programs, it really just needs Unreal and Blender, which are both free programs and it's extremely quick. Pop open a new scene in Blender and delete the cube. Click Add, go to Empty, and click Arrows. This gives you a little thing that has an X, a Y, and a Z axis. Unlike other objects in Blender, this does not have any mesh data. This is literally just transform, which is why it's called an empty. With this empty, you can use this as the parent object for all of the other objects in the scene. Shift click the object that you need, and then shift click the three axis empty, and then hit control P. Hit enter, and it's parented. Do this for all of the other objects in the scene. Once you are done parenting everything, just click in the empty space, just deselect everything. Go to File, go to Export, and go to FBX. If you want to save the data for the textures and materials, you can go to the settings in the top right and then do like the whole copy thing. But regardless, this will still work. Now in the Unreal Engine, open up your Content Browser or Content Drawer, navigate to the folder that you want to import the model into. In the top left, click Import, and then navigate in the File Browser to the location that you saved the FBX file. On the bottom right of this window, on File Types, click it, and you'll notice there's multiple FBX options. Go to FBX Scene. Click open or import, and this will pop open an import window you probably have not seen in Unreal before. On the left, just deselect the things you don't want, usually the light or the camera or other stuff like that, and then just only select the parent object and the objects within it. Usually you can they're already selected, so you can just click the parent object and deselect everything else. Um, and then hit import, that's it. What this will do is that this will import all of the static mesh objects as well as importing the empty as a blueprint. This is useful because when you drag it into the level, on the right side when it's selected and where the components are, if you click the empty, you can move all of the objects at once. Another reason why this is the proper method in my opinion is because the child did objects to the empty, their origins are intact. They're exactly where they were inside of Blender meaning you don't have to do any in-engine stuff, any repositioning, and none of that crap. It is just out of the box, freaking working. I hope you enjoyed the video. If this is helpful, leave a like, comment, and maybe even subscribe if you want to, if you feel so heavenly inclined. Um, yeah, have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.